Welcome back to The Ref Show. The roundup uh, continues in the Premier League, the Championship as well. I want to just talk just uh, to start with about Graham Scott's game, which was, uh, I suppose, uneventful mostly. Watford nil, Brighton nil. But everybody's still talking about this horrendous challenge by Miguel uh, Britos of uh, Watford. Rightly picked up, Glenn. <laughs> I suppose you couldn't miss it in a way. No, but. no, you, you couldn't miss it. I don't know what the lad's thinking of. I don't what know. was he thinking what, of, what uh, Ian? Uh, well, um, he's, got, he, he's got that in him. He came with a, a band when he first signed for the yeah, club. Yeah. And it's not... It's, it, it wouldn't have been a leg breaker, but if it had been... It wouldn't surprise if it had been face on. It would definitely wither it because he's run away from. He's always going to take his leg. But yeah. it's it, it, it's a sort of stamp down on the back of his calf, stroke Achilles. It's a horrendous mm. tackle. And, it's, and it's two red cards. <laughs> I mean, not, they're, they're the sort of challenges. I wouldn't mind an extra. I'd like to chuck a game a yeah. game or two on. Yeah, yeah. I think you know everyone talks about panels and discipline. Yeah. There's certain tackles you think oh, that's yeah. clearly deliberate, isn't clearly it? Clearly deliberate. That's a good point. Uh, that's deliberate. a really good point, Ian. It's because rather than wasting the time on mandatory precautions for people going towards the crowd why are mm. people concentrating on yeah. matters like that where yeah. you know careers can be at stake and there seems to be a lot of these this season some yeah. of them not detected is there yeah. a, a trend in the game well is it I, just early I season hope not it? yeah I, I like to think not but then i'm the eternal optimist <laughs> yeah. I, th I, th I think i think the gary k who ones are <laughs> posh mm. Yeah. Really hot when, I, when you've seen so many other tackles. I've seen a, yeah. a tackle on Martin Ogle's tackle. Well, then we've yeah, seen that, some really nasty things uh, already on yeah, the season. You know, yeah. the, you know. We've, the, and as Keith Hackett's blog, you know, players have got a duty to of care one. to each other. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, what is he one thinking of? Ridiculous. Just for Anorax briefly, in that what for Brighton, there was the the rarity, the collector's item of an indirect free kick in the yes, area. Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. many people have thought I'm, that I'm, couldn't exist. One of my one of my very few claims to fame has been on the Euro. Finals tournament in Portugal, and there was one in our game on that one as was well, it? given by referee. And it's quite correct as well. It was a sort of a high yeah. kick, but it yes. wasn't a foul, yeah, was you it? You don't it see those very often. No. Yeah, you don't see yeah. them very often in direct with the penalty. Area. Graham Scott yeah. was the referee. Yeah. Now then, this situation, I suppose, this applies to you as a player, um, Ian. It certainly applied to you as uh, an assistant yeah. referee or a fourth official or whatever. <laughs> Uh, Liverpool Arsenal, the big game of the weekend. Okay, you mm. finished in a 4 0 home win for Liverpool, incredibly well, maybe not incredibly enough. <laughs> no. But the referee was due to be Martin Atkinson, yes. the most informed and a logical appointment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he injured, uh, mm. back, back, back injured or something? Yeah. A late injured. call up for yeah. the fourth official, Craig Pawson. Mm. So, first of all, Ian, what does that feel like as a player? You'd have been in that situation probably, uh, either way perhaps. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. What does it feel like as the player who's coming in? Well, I think it's, it's an opportunity. Um, there's still a bit of anger that you weren't in initially, I suppose, or not on the panel, but I think for, for Craig it wouldn't have been that. He, he, he knows, and there's a, if Craig would be honest, I'm sure he'd think he'd, it's a big impressive environment. So it's some, some little bit of trepidation about it, yeah. but for me, yeah, he did a very good job. I mean, you know, there were, it's a fairly uncontentious game. Very few, I mean, as too many games are now, not too many yeah. tackles flying about. Yeah. Um, but he did very well, I thought. I'd tell you, in there would have been a bit of anger. He's, he's been for the official he? twice this Has week. He? Okay. And, not, and, and that's not personal to Craig, but I've spoken to hundreds of referees down the years and they're like, fourth official again. Everybody so wants to be in the middle, Who mate. wants to be a fourth official? <laughs> <laughs> who would? <laughs> who honestly would? Taking the pelters so, from the benches. Yeah, well, listen, you are. I've, I've been that man giving the pelters. There is, I mean, in the end, it, yeah, I, I stopped doing it. As I said to you before, I used to berate them. And I thought... Yeah, I know you did, Craig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what was the point of me ever doing it? You felt sorry for him in the end. Yeah, right? yeah. I expect you did. So what's it like then, Glenn? I, I, You're due to run the line, suddenly yeah, you're refereeing. It's refer happened to me. Yeah. It's happened to me. Uh, huge congratulations to Craig because he stepped into the biggest game of the weekend, having seen the fixtures when they came out uh, on Mon on the previous Monday mm. and gone, I'm carrying the hod twice. <laughs> I mean, great, what are we, happy bank holiday, thanks very much. Only to them be into the limelight. Congratulations to him for having the mindset to switch on and get in there and put a go. Did really it, good performance. In a way, there. it's a no-lose, isn't it? You know, the, mm. you've almost got your excuses in first year. A late no, call up, no, you've I'm not sure. No, it's a no-win actually, Alan, because Is you it? know if he'd had a poor game, yeah. It had got battered and yeah, people would have said, yeah, that's why you were fourth official. You're not good enough for that. But can it psychologically take the pressure off a bit? Because, oh, no, I'm suddenly in the middle. I haven't no. had time to worry about this. No. No? No, mate. No. But he needed a good performance yeah. in the middle, and, didn't he? Is that a difficult... One yeah, he's, he's, he's one a, it's a difficult, difficult to start. Yeah. Well done, Craig. Yeah, Guy Beale blogged that game and he said, you know, he was very praiseworthy mm. of... Mm. Um, 
uh, of the referee there, Craig Pauls. But he said, you know, there were six yellows, and he, his only comment was Dutch man. Sometimes he lets his book do the talking for him, yeah, where he could he have does. managed he does. situations. But, but, but again, as, as Craig gets older and has more kind of life experience as well as refereeing experience, I'd, I'd expect those numbers to come down. So like, manage uh, people better. Just on that. Yeah. I mean, if you, it, and I don't want to be critical because he did very well. I've got to say, I, I'm thinking initially in the game, quite in the first half, he's going to sit, give himself an issue here with a number of cards. Mm -hmm. And that's what oh. I say, as he gets kind of older, you know I mean? more I mean, experienced, more have, confident, yeah, uh, he'll, 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 let, he'll manage players rather yeah. than let his cards do Some of them were, but I thought, you know, he could have let the game go a little bit before a card right. came out, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And Liverpool 4, Arsenal 0. My goodness, yeah, Arsenal right. got yeah, problems there that already. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow. Staggering. We could talk all day. And well, he's just got to answer. But you know, he has to. He has to pull. I think two big signings out of the out of the rabbit's hat this mm. week. Or that's not going to change. Everyone's talking about mm. Mustafi. He's the same. He's he's not a good defender. Yeah. <laughs> not being funny. He made a World World Cup, but action as a natural defender. I mean, Keane, who yeah. you know, who was available for thirty million. Pff, would have made right. a huge difference. Before we go on to the championship, just <laughs> rattle through. Anthony Taylor, West Brom won, yep. Stoke won. I think that was a good performance. Was Andy Hogg blogged that. Yep. And some incidentals, that's not incidentally to the detriment of the referee. Mm. Andre Mariner, Crystal Palace nil, Swansea 2. Apart from that, are you incident? Jordan, are you incident? Yeah. Should have been a yellow. Stuart Atwell at your game, Huddersfield nil, Southampton nil. Yeah. Good. Did, yeah, did very well. Um, had very few moments of contention now I think about it one or two that I'd have disagreed with but you know over Overall. the piece really I've got to say it's worth going down to see a really good atmosphere they're building yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was amazing so it, he's built a very good side there Wagner they deserved and the, the referee was up which I liked it didn't really centre yeah. attention yeah. at all so I think they're likely lovely. to become a lot of people's second team yeah right? no they are I think, <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of, it was a great game yeah. really for a 0-0 and yeah. a good goal of story, yeah Newcastle 3 West Ham 0 Niels, <clears throat> Niels Warbrick now, perhaps he couldn't have seen this but TV cameras picked it up Mitrovic's cynical oh, elbowing goodness, off the ball has been highlighted uh, that's got to be an FA action surely I think it Why? probably will be um, I hope so I mean <laughs> it, you know, it, cl it clearly is Niels not seen that I mean what's yeah. he thinking about no, crackers, I mean, eh? why do that? I mean, Absolutely he's got that in him, that in my, my view, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> having said that, he'd have fitted right in an hour day. He'd have been perfect for our time. <laughs> but you just can't do that anymore. I, no, I, no, do I think? Cannot. I think there'll definitely be that. I'll okay. be very surprised if oh, there's not. You know better than me. Yeah, 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 well, so do I. Because they're wanting to take that out it's of clear. the game. It's yeah. clear. Now then, you've seen this this morning. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday's 1-1 oh. one, one draw at Burton. Yeah. Uh, now then, early on, Marvin Sardell's challenge. Can I call it a challenge? On the Wednesday keeper, Kieran West who goes off injured, sort yeah, of a yeah. nasty bang and cut on his leg. What did you think yeah, of the challenge? Not even a caution no, given. I mean, we, no. there was a phrase we used to use, that wasn't just a foul, it was attempted murder. It was a horrendous foul right. on the keeper. And not even a caution. Crikey. Yeah, that's a shocker, it's isn't it? Sure to put in a big neon sign above his head saying, that is a send-off. They don't come a lot clearer than that, my friend. No. No, and that, that was an astonishing Sorry. one. I was at uh, Barnsley and Sunderland. Mm. A great oh. home win for Barnsley by three goals. He's today. done a great job there. To be fair, he deserves a huge amount of credit because he's he's had his team pillar. You know, they've been, taken away. They've been butchered and, and sold to all parts of the country. Yeah. And he still found his recruitment's been quite good. I think in terms of that, he takes McGeek and the boy from from Luton, who's, yeah. who's a good player. So he, that's a big, big result. I mean, yeah. I do think on the other hand, the other lad. Will be a very good manager eventually if they give him time. You know, he's common he, sense appointment. He's, yeah. he's a good, he's a good manager. Simon, Simon Grace done a magnificent job at, at Preston. And Paul Hackingbottom, two on loan uh, strikers from the Premier League on the, on target there, and they really went at it, Barnsley. Uh, the referee Chris Kavanagh, who you, mm. I know you rate highly, good I referee. thought he had a really good game. Yeah, good Apart referee. from one thing, it was a blatant shove from yes, behind yeah. on a Sunderland player, Vaughan, yeah. I think it was yeah, going yeah. through. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, only yellow, denial. only yellow was given. Yeah, look to denial. Have, um, but hey, hey ho, he's just saying the opinion of the referee. So, yeah. well, go, um, good referee, Chris. You know, that, you, know that, that it, it, you know that, if it's in the box, it's not a send off, it's out. Mm. I mean, what, who come up with that? <laughs> hey, yeah. again, we yeah. could talk all day. No, We've well, talked well, about well, that. How is that in any way logical? <laughs> He he just, just, let me tell you, I wasn't the best, I wasn't the best finish in the game. Trust me, if I'm in the box, I'm much likely to score than yeah. I'm outside. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a nonsense. Yeah. It would seem it, it gives referees that, more problems. Uh, Birmingham nil, Reading two. You know I like my clean sheets. No uh, crime sheet whatsoever. Steve Martin, no yellow, yeah. no, no red. I know you want to talk about um, the game you saw on TV 
Saturday, Friday night. Yeah. Bristol City won, Aston Villa won. Yep. Je uh, Jeff Eltringham was in the middle. John Terry central to some penalty appeals. Yeah, and I, th I think, to be fair, I mean, Lee Johnson's quite historic on the side anyway. Yeah. You know, he's, he's jumping around for penalties. I mean, none of them are penalties. No. I mean, if they are, no. then the game's gone bananas. I mean, John Terry, he's not, he's not ever... I mean, I, I still believe a penalty is like, oh, that, I put my hand yeah. to it, played it. Yeah. All right, there's some areas about these hands up, which I don't really get. Because, you know, who, who knows where my natural position of arms, how I defend. Um, and then that would drive me mad if, it's, oh, yeah. if I'm a manager. So I'd yeah. never want my players to do that. But, you know, so Lee's making it worse with a fourth official for me. I think the referee did a really good job. Yeah. He, was, he got it bang You on. know, he may have got them all wrong, but when they pile up, the, there must be a pressure, pressure. on the referee oh, to finally pressure. think that's the third or fourth one. Yeah, I'm pressure. going to give this yeah. one, and, and he, he didn't. He'll know, no, they're in our ears. Going, is there any chance you're going to join yeah. in today? Do we get anything out of you? They do it all at you. Yeah, they do. That the next one. The yeah. next and, and the, the crowd, the crowd. I mean, the, that Ashton Gate, the new Ashton Gate that they've, they've read oh, it. It's, it's, you know, when they do the other end, it's it's, it's fantastic, yeah. and they, they'll get under lights. It was really atmospheric, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they were baying for blood. Yeah. And four, and not yeah. just four, but and four all, on the same player. Yes, yeah, four on the same player. <laughs> on John Terry, and he was, he was right. A big all player. All. Yeah, he was. And he was right. All. We're well over done. time now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to stop it, but well done, that referee. Well done, a lot of referees Good over weekend. the weekend. Yeah. Thank you so much to Ian Dowie. Pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Cheers, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you on Thanks the panel so, so many times, Glenn. Cheers. See you next week. Bye. Bye.